Kepler's first law says that the planets move around the sun in the path which is known as orbit and the shape of that orbit is not circle, it is the shape of an ellipse. Now in geometry we study what an ellipse is. Ellipse is a shape just like an egg which has got two axes. This axis is known as minor axis, minor. And this axis opposite to it, this is known as major axis, major. So, minor axis and major axis, right? There are two points in it and the specialty of these two points are for any one point, if you take any point on the orbit, take the distance from this point 1, we will call it focus or foci. Focus 1 and this is focus 2, foci 2. There are two focus. If we take any point, the distance from one focus is R1, the distance from second focus is R2, add the 2. And this quantity is R1 plus R2. If you change this position here, then again this is R1 and this is R2. Again you add them up, you get the same amount. If it is here, add the 2. The sum R1 plus R2 always remain constant. If we search such points here and draw them, then this all these points together, the path of all these points will make a shape and that shape is known as ellipse. That you study in uh, geometry. So what Kepler said that the orbit of planets around sun is not a circle, it is an ellipse. Where sun is at either of its focus. Sun may be here or sun may be here. Not necessary, he did not make any rule whether sun will be here or here. He said it may be anywhere, this is symmetrical. So this was Kepler's first law. Okay. Now, I will write it. Okay. So, this is first law and this is known as law of orbit. It tells us about the shape of orbit. Now, when we come to the second law of uh, Kepler's, that is law of area that we will see in the next lecture.